This is what we wanted to see, rusting harpoons on the deck of one of the Japanese whaling fleet's hunter ships. For more than a week, Greenpeace has chased the fleet's factory ship, the Nishimaru, out of the hunting grounds. Without her, the rest of the fleet cannot carry on whaling. The harpoons are lying idle. The Nishimaru has been joined outside the whaling grounds by a second ship, the Yushinmaru No. 2, and seeing whales surfacing in front of the hunter and the factory ships without risk was another very satisfying sight to see. We sent our inflatables alongside the two ships and Sakio, our Japanese campaigner, was able to send a message to the people of Japan, holding the kanji symbol for the word fake against the hull of the Nishin Maru. The symbol has been used in Japan to highlight a series of scandals that has hit the Japanese government in the last year. And Sakio believes that this is one way to get the message out in Tokyo, where it's needed most. Uh, we think their research is fake research, because whale research can be done without killing whales. So what they are doing is uh, a fake research. Greenpeace believes that the Japanese government will try anything to stop anyone witnessing the hunt this year. So there are no reminders of what commercial whaling looks like. Well, let me remind you. This is what we're trying to stop and we are starting to see progress in Japan. This year's whaling program is crumbling both here in the Southern Ocean and in Tokyo.